Here's the harsh truth for you. Statistics say that with a 99% probability, you'll remain in poverty for the rest of your life. But what about the remaining 1%? Harv Ecker wrote, anyone can become a millionaire. It's a matter of time, effort, and how you utilize your resources. So, is it possible? In this video, we'll talk about the laws of that fortunate 1% who achieve financial freedom. Get ready to change your financial future. Rule number one, money grows on trees. Imagine if money actually grew on trees. This changes the typical perception of finances. Instead of exchanging your time for money, you start planting income generating trees, investments or businesses that over time yield returns. But this process requires time, effort, and patience akin to nurturing a real tree. These trees can vary from starting your own business to investing in stocks or real estate. The key here is understanding that there's no quick result, but consistent care of your trees can ultimately lead to significant income. Businesses or smart investments work similarly, generating income even when you're not actively involved. Rule number two, no limit to spending. The more money you have, the more you spend. It's like going to a supermarket without a shopping list. You came for bread and milk, but left with a full cart, including a three meter inflatable unicorn that you absolutely needed. This phenomenon is known as the latte effect. The tendency to spend more on small things, which collectively eat away a significant portion of your income. Elon Musk's example, living on just $1 a day, shows that managing finances isn't about income size. It's crucial to maintain a disciplined budget and keep expenses below income. Rule number three, money is a lifelong game. Financial success requires continuous management and adaptation. Many assume that once a certain income level is reached, they can relax. However, in practice, even after achieving financial independence, it's necessary to constantly monitor your investments and assets. For instance, owning a house doesn't guarantee constant tenants, and a business requires ongoing innovation and development to remain competitive. Warren Buffett, despite his immense capital, continues working, demonstrating that financial success is an ongoing process requiring regular attention and adaptation. Rule number four. Money won't solve your complexes. Don't try to prove anything to anyone. We often aim for expensive purchases, seeking recognition and admiration from others. However, this approach only temporarily solves internal complexes. True self-respect and satisfaction come not from external attributes, but from inner development, emotional maturity, and the ability to build deep and meaningful relationships. It's important to realize that genuine well-being and confidence can't be bought with money. It requires self-work, developing social skills. Otherwise, you'll endlessly spend money on useless things to overcome discomfort. Rule number five, don't flaunt your wealth. Under no circumstances should you disclose how much you earn. Publicly displaying wealth can lead to unexpected and undesirable consequences. It might attract fake friendships or relationships, envy, and even legal issues. Instead of boasting about your achievements and wealth, it's more valuable to remain modest and focused on further managing and developing your finances. Modesty also helps maintain healthy and genuine relationships with others, not distorted by material interests. Rule number six, crisis is an opportunity. Historically, crises such as the one in 2008 provided unique opportunities for savvy investors. During economic upheavals, many assets become undervalued, offering opportunities for buying at reduced prices. Investors who can recognize and capitalize on these moments, like Jay Walker during the dot-com bubble or Mark Cuban during the 1998 financial crisis, can significantly increase their wealth. Don't view crises negatively. Instead, leverage them as financially astute individuals do. It's crucial to study past crises and understand their dynamics to be prepared to utilize similar situations in the future. Rule number seven, expenses increase with age. Start investing right now. As we age, our financial needs and obligations typically increase. This may include 
expenses for family, children's education, health care, and retirement planning. Many people, despite having good current income, don't consider long-term financial planning, which can lead to financial difficulties in the future. Rule number eight, wealth accumulation takes time. In most cases, wealth isn't instantaneous. It usually accumulates over time. Starting to invest early and making regular contributions, even small ones, can lead to significant capital accumulation in the future due to the power of compound interest. Examples of successful investors like Warren Buffett, who started investing in his teenage years, demonstrate the importance of long-term investments. Share your thoughts in the comments, and remember to follow these principles because practice is what matters most, not just theory. See you in the next videos.